My name is Zanele Mholi. Um, I live and work in Johannesburg. I was born in Teben. And my work is on visual activism and focusing mainly on black lesbians, gays and transgender people. I'm fascinated by LGBTI individuals in different spaces. I've learned how beautiful this place is, how important our lives are and why we should preserve a history about our own people, about us. The light is good here. Yeah. I'm going to shoot a follow-up portrait of Dumi. I used to be a stylist. Really? Yeah. We had a life before we came out. <laughs> Somebody asked me how influential am I when it comes to this portrait. And I said to people, I just want people to look good. Oh. I really, really want people to be fresh. Kanyiso is um, a queer visual media that I founded in 2009. I just completed a program uh, uh, in documentary media. And when I was uh, in Toronto, I just thought to myself, as a person who has worked for a media house prior to that, I wanted to create a different kind of space where people could engage beyond just what is in the mainstream media. So this is three years later. We are in the same township. And the township is so popular with um, the killings. With uh, <laughs> no gay lives. There are a lot of gay people in Guatemala. And also it has since become notorious for hate crimes oh. because in 2008, a known bad lesbian was brutally murdered here. We live in fear. Death happened to bind us. Hate crimes have become a binding factor for the LGBTI communities. We come together to either give support or to confirm that somebody has been killed. Then that person becomes a statistic. Another case number becomes part of our history. And what are we doing about it? Do we always go and attend funerals and then after funerals you go home, you wait for another funeral? What? You have to document. You are forced to document. And we're blogging almost daily, sharing with people from different spaces who might not have a grip of what is going on. So we produce videos, we produce a lot of photographs, some of our members write, capturing the moments, those truths and realities that world will learn about our cultures. I could give you something tangible and say, feel it, this is it, see, you invited to be in that space even though you were not there. I'm working on a, a very, very dear project that is closest to me and I'm not working alone. I'm working with my partner. We've been shooting from different uh, cities, from Amsterdam to, to Venice, to Bordeaux, to, um, uh, to Firenze. We have done like about 12 cities together and we're shooting an intimate project that speaks to us. And the project is autobiographical and it's visual imagery of two people of different races uh, contesting that whole notion of being done. That will inform like many people who may come after us or any person who will be dealing with a project that looks specifically uh, on interracial relationships. When do we start talking about intimacy? I, I produce pictures that are intimate because I'm an intimate being. This intimacy that disrupts the perpetrator leads to us being killed. It starts by the same sex love that is disorganizing the mindset of the homophobe. More education is needed. Mainstream communities need to come on board and help us and ensure that there is no other hate crime. Projecting positivity sometimes can lead to the change. Projecting brutality and violations could lead to further violence. So I think that we need to find a balance in which we project these realities. <laughs>